The lack of diversity in tech is a huge problem. Only 10% of Google is minority, and only 1% of VC-backed startups have an African-American on the founding team. And the solution is to create an access program. When I did research, what did I find? There were already thriving national programs focused on girls, but there were virtually no organizations doing this for boys of color. They face a wealth of unusual challenges and different challenges that you know, are clear with what's happening today in, you know, in Ferguson and in other places around the, around the country. So this group really is the most neglected group in the social service sector. All Star Code's most important metric of success is can we shift the identity of our students from instead of thinking of themselves as consumers to creators. We teach that through the concept of hacking. Hacking is not breaking into a website. Uh, hacking is being able to build something on your own using the tools that are available on the internet through code. So 100% of our students identify as hackers post-program. That means that they're not consumers of technology, they're now creators. My father, Reginald F. Lewis, became the most successful black businessman of his time. He actually had a lot of help, and a key help he had was this access program that Harvard Law School ran in the 1960s. The idea of this access program was to just open up the network and recruit students from the black colleges, give them exposure to the corporate law, and that if they were good enough to get into law school, to have given them some extra preparation. Wall Street was this very clubby, insidery world that only recruited from a few select places and needed opening up through a program. And similarly today, the tech world, your success often depends on who you go to your ski mountain home with. My challenge is that I'm a tech outsider. I have a reporting background. I did not have a lot of experience working with technology companies when I started this. So GLG came in with its expertise and gave me a framework and materials that I could use to engage companies. There is a tremendous amount of untapped talent in uh, the black and Latino communities, especially among young men of colors. And I won't rest until we've reached all that talent. We want to unlock the potential of every black and brown boy in the United States. Thank you.